Go fuck yourself. Hey guys, Gus the Guy here, back with more early access fun, this time in the form, of course, of Medieval Engineers. So, I have been playing around with the mechanical bits a little bit lately, however, I have far from mastered them. What you see here is my early attempts at a crane, although I literally couldn't even get these fucking drums to turn, so I'm gonna have to go back and practice a bit. Um, it really... Yeah, so I'm going to practice a bit. I haven't had much time to really get too deep in the game because I've worked every day this week. What I really need is just a day off, which I do have coming on Thursday. And on that day, I plan to get a little bit done. Well, probably a lot done. I need to make a subscriber thank you video, which is long overdue. And then, of course, um, I'm going to start... I'm going to practice a lot with these little things. Um, I also attempted some catapults here. I'll fly over and just show you my weak attempts. Before they, of course. Well, this is the result of them having exploded. And goddamn it, I hate this flying sometimes. Um, but yes, here they are. This one totally just fell apart and didn't work. This one worked a few times, but neither of them worked when you put the large balls. They only work with the small balls. And having shot the small balls. Excuse me, I keep like getting the. I feel like I have to burp and then nothing comes out. Anyway, um, but yeah, the, I shot this thing several times with the smaller balls. I keep saying balls, and I don't know. But yeah, I've hit it several times, and it, it does don't do any damage, so... I don't know. So, even this weak-ass castle can sustain it. So, the best still is, I guess, stronger than it looks. At least against my weak creations. So yeah, I'll work on catapults. I'll probably go on the workshop and look at what other people have made. And I have seen some interesting stuff on the YouTubes by people like Last End Gamers. And, uh, Video Sage, I believe he is. They made some interesting, very interesting, interesting stuff. Anyway, there's the original thing I made. And here is Neuschwanstein Castle, if I'm saying it right. Sorry to my German viewers, which apparently I have a few of. As well as Swedish viewers. Very happy to hear that, I guess. I don't know, Sweden seems like a cool place. So I appreciate you guys watching some weird American dude talking to himself in his bedroom. For no fucking reason. Anyway... Um, before I get, wow, voice crack, before I get started, I do owe you guys a thank you, because I am currently at 138 subscribers, and that means that I did add some subscribers overnight since the last, since my last video in which I thanked some subscribers, so let me read through that list real quick, and then we'll get to, to building. So first up on my list of new subscribers is Christian Menger. Next up is R3L Gaming, maybe it's supposed to say Real Gaming. I don't know, but he did comment on some of my stuff, so I appreciate your comments. I don't remember exactly what they were off the top of my head, but I did read them, and I did reply, and you know that. Anyway, next is Victor Vensic. I swear to God, I've read your name before. You must have unsubscribed and resubscribed, you bastard. Uh, next is SFJ Gameplay. Busky Husky. Tyler Faust. T-Gen. Caden Tag Gamer. The 8-Bit Zombie. Zombie. Connor Holmes. Terraria the Beast, 476 School, Jackson 102881, that kind of sounds familiar, uh, Bloxy Man 22, Fernando Lopez, Dawson Rowe, Jacob Lewis, Alexander Libby, Trinity of Oz, Josh, Josh Harvey, uh, where else? Uh, I got lost. Forax Silver, the dude with the face, he knows who he is, I commented. On his reply, um, Luke Harper, Ender Gamer FR, Linus Nilsson, Creeper Pancake, who talked about pies for some reason. I don't actually understand why he brought up pies, but I just kind of went along with it. Miles Farrow, Yakov Williams, Megan Nicole, AD Gamer 64, Edgar Galleon, man, this list is longer than I th thought it was, Spirit Wolf Press. XX Nano XX5 Luke Simmons. Okay, that's the last one. Anyway, thank you, thank you so much to all of you new subscribers. You guys are incredible, just as incredible as my other subscribers. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to watch my videos. It really means a lot to me. It gives me a reason to make these every day. That's like literally, literally what my day revolves around. It's just me waking up early, especially if I work, make these videos, go to work. 
reply to comments while I'm at work, then come home from work, and then edit the footage that I have for tomorrow, and then go to sleep, wake up, do it all again. And you know what? I don't even care. It's a blast. If I weren't doing this, I would literally just be sitting on my ass doing this without commentating and recording and editing it. So this gives me something to do and fulfills me in a small way. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for giving me something to do every day. God damn it, you guys are just incredible. So anyway, that's enough talking and I guess I can't think of the right word. But just gushing over, there we go. Gushing over my subscribers who deserve it, by the way. But I really need to get building because this is, after all, an episode about building. So looking at the gatehouse, where am I? Where do I stand currently? Okay. So I have the basic layout. Looks like it actually comes out a teeny bit. Um, and now, who am I thinking of? The Hooded Stranger. I think you're the one. You said something about my walls look strange. I'm not sure, entirely sure what you meant. I thought I would realize what you meant when I looked at the castle. I, I don't see it, what you're talking about. If you could be more specific, that'd be great. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of go with it and continue building with what I... In originally intended but yeah um, I'm not sure what you meant by what you said and you know I don't feel like looking again to see what you said I'm distracting myself so anyway yes it does appear to jut out a tiny bit um, there we go that's the block I wanted so what we're gonna do is just kind of do that Bleh. I don't want to block this window so I'll replace the window. Oh, this is such beautiful, inspiring music, isn't it, guys? Truly, truly the game of our times. The music of our generation. There we go. Oh, what am I thinking? So this is looking like a wall. That's good. I think I'm going to leave it double thick, although it doesn't appear to be double thick in the real castle. But I'm more going for the outer facade to look accurate than anything else. More than anything else. Now, it does, however, appear to, that these are all breaking, broken down into multiple small rooms. Three on each side, in fact. And there we go. That's three small rooms, huh? Yes, indeed. And it's like some kind of hallway. Or accompanied by some kind of hallway. And we'll drag this guy here. And actually, you know what I should do? I should go ahead and switch to spectator mode so I can fly around with all this goddamn inertia. Ah, okay. F7, F8. Fantastic. Much better. Okay, so that's the basic layout of that room. And uh, looking good. Oh, god damn it, I didn't mean to click that. Okay. What about the right yeah, I do have the right block. Selected. Are you talking about this wall hooded stranger? Is that what you mean? Because if so, that should fix what you're speaking of, I would think. If that is in fact what you're talking about. So I can do the same thing on the other side too. And that should make things all better for you, right, buddy? I didn't mean to break that wall. I meant to break this wall. Are you kidding me? Don't. Don't be fucking stupid game. God damn it. Oh well. Doesn't look like it damaged the foundation at all. Bro, I'm looking at this block. Okay, now it deletes. This is about angle too. It's just very frustrating how the deleting system works in this game. Oh, they need to refine it and throw something. So people like me don't rage and ruin the game's reputation. Of course, I, what the fuck? God damn it. Okay, so it did damage the foundation. And that car drove by. I'm gonna blame the collapse on that fucking car. Okay, so we need to do a little cleanup here. Uh, okay, I think that's... Well, it did break. No, it broke on this block. And then I have to delete these blocks. God damn it, I hate deleting this game so much. Again, I know it's Alva, but still, it's, it's very frustrating for me. Okay, now I have to deal with the fact that I can't build here until that stuff despawns. 
I mean, it might even be easier just... No, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, zero. Oh, this wall's broken too, damn it. I don't think that's actually physical. So let me switch back into my character, and I'm going to push a lot of this stuff off the edge. Get out of my way so I can continue building. There we go. Ah, frustrating. Very frustrating stuff. Luckily, once these break, they don't appear to have physics that affect the structural integrity of what they hit. Come on. Ugh. I know this is very thrilling footage, but you know, this is just one of the parts of medieval engineers. Okay. Fantastic. Now let's hope that once I place a block here, it's not going to come fucking crashing down on me. What? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Why the hell is it doing that? God damn it. Why did it break? I replaced the broken block. Are you shitting me? This is not cool. Is this block broken too or something? Uh, I might just have to reload and just make up the difference. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time on this than I have to. It's already been 10 minutes. Ah, damn it. Okay, that's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I'll go... I'm going to reload. I'm going to fix... I'm going to get back to this point, and then we'll continue playing from there. So I'll see you guys in, like, 5-10 minutes. Okay, so that literally took about 2 minutes of my time to fix. Um, so uh, that was kind of pathetic on my part, I suppose. But then again, I did spend a lot of the opening of this video thanking subscribers. So it's also your fault. Screw you guys. How dare you. Anyway, let's get this roof going here. I'd like to have some progress on this thing by the end of this episode. If I can get this stupid roof, this thing to place on something that is... There we go. There, should be all set now. Because I'll need to look at the roof actually and see how it's constructed. I think it's just flat. And really there's no f stone masonry flooring. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? This is a two pound piece of wood. For fuck's sake. I don't understand you, video game. Oh, okay, don't break. Ah, frustration. No, that's broken too. Ah, okay. I don't want to go back and do this all again. I'm trying to break that off. Get out of the way. Okay, nothing's cracked here. Okay, once I clean this all up, I'm gonna make sure it looks okay. Okay, I was uh, breaking shit off. Not sure what happened that caused that to break. In my experience, it seems like if you remove all the blocks it was touching, or at least the blocks that were supporting it, typically that seems to fix what happened. So I'm gonna delete this one just to be safe. And put it back, and put one on top of it again. Okay, now before I quick save, I'm going to go ahead and try placing something on top of here again. You know what, it could have been, and oh, it is supported by something. Okay, so, obviously something about that corner is causing this. Is it the same on this side too, I wonder? It is, what is, what is it about this wall? Okay, let me look at the real castle here, real quick. Okay, give me a bigger image of this fucking castle. And it, okay, so it does actually have a roof that is angled. Ah. Okay. Well, shit. Um, let me let me see if I can replace this these bits here. That's what we're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and do that real, real quick. Get this shit out of the way. Should just spawn on its own over time. Despawn, not des spawn. I don't need to replace that, yeah. Number seven. And remember, guys, this is in early alpha, so my rage is totally. is not totally warranted. I mean, it's understandable, it's just. Don't take this as, oh, this game has the worst physics system in the world. Well, that's not true. The game's not completed. And I'm not using it as a cop-out. It's like, oh, they can do no wrong. This is an alpha. 
It's more along the lines of this is an alpha, this is a new technology. And give them a little break. They're obviously trying to work on it. If they were ignoring the problem, that'd be different. But I know they're working, at least to my knowledge, very hard to make this game happen in a functional way. So thanks, devs at Keem Software House for making a game that I really want to play. Okay, so I think this wall's fixed. I'm going to go ahead and actually quick save this time. And my nose just whistled. That was adorable. Now what I'm going to do is attempt at least to build a wall here. Not a wall, a roof. Okay. How can I do this? I need number four, probably. Hey, you know what? I... I'm thinking out loud. Um, I, I'm afraid to use more of these wooden floor pieces, but then again, that's not what I want. Then again, it shouldn't be a huge deal. Okay, so that... Okay, they're breaking in the same exact spot. I literally have no idea what the fuck is with these pieces. So I'm just going to pretend it didn't happen and quick load. Okay, quick loaded. Call me cheap. Well, I'm not. Go fuck yourself. I'm just trying to work within the boundaries that are given to me. So let me whip out this wall. Hopefully this doesn't... Oh, man. I'm so terrified of everything breaking now. Let's just blaze it and see what happens. Okay, and then I want one right here. What is with this corner? I don't understand what's happening. Why is this causing a catastrophic failure of my castle? This whole thing can't weigh more than 10 pounds. Let's see what it does here. Exact same thing. So it's something about the way this corner is constructed that's causing this to fall apart. I don't understand it, people. I truly don't. Oh, this is making me so sad. I'm just testing to see. <laughs> Do you want a quick load? Yes. I just want to build. Uh, <laughs> I'm sad. What happens if I just build the roof on there without the supports? Would it even let me? I don't know. Well, I loaded quicker than I expected. Okay, we're gonna try this one more fucking time. And goddamn, if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna kill myself. I'll still build this thing. I just might have to delay. It did happen. Okay. What am I... What if I just don't put anything there and then I find some other way to... Oh, okay. Okay. It didn't even touch that block. Literally did not even touch that block. The rest of this thing's fine. I don't understand what the, f what the problem is with that one particular section. This is going to require troubleshooting for sure. That's not going to happen in this episode. I don't have time for that. Well, I don't want to have a 20-minute episode of just me troubleshooting. And it has gone on for 20 minutes, actually. So... Uh, I'm so sorry guys I couldn't make more progress but I'm gonna have to cut this one off for now and later tomorrow yeah tomorrow I'll have more episodes out hopefully I'll have time to work and learn how to use things like catapults so I can start making these episodes uh, involving mechanical structures in addition to my normal castle building schedule which is what I'm having the most fun with but I think I could have a lot of fun with uh, mechanical building side of things. So anyway, thanks for watching um, this huge failure of an episode. Thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys are the best. Um, yeah, I don't know. And if you haven't hit subscribe already, please hit that subscribe button and help support me in my endeavors in building castles that don't collapse for absolutely no fucking reason. I don't understand it, but again, it's alpha, so I give the dust some slack. Anyway, I'm Kester the Guy. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. This is about Angle 2. It's very frustrating how the believing system works in this game. I'm going to blame